Hi, I'm Wader Anomaly with Longest Journey Studio. I recently posted my new music video, Secret Society of Soul Painters. It was my first experiment in processing image sequences with artificial neural network to get this so-called deep style video. Since I've posted it, there were some questions and requests for an explanation of the process involved in making this kind of video. So by popular demand I decided to do a short workflow explanation. We'll be looking at this final shot from the video. So I started out in Eon View. It's a great and easy software perfect for 3D landscapes and environments. I simply created basic terrain, created an ecosystem and populated it with various kinds of grass, placed some scaled up models of various mushrooms by hand, and I added some other elements like well, regular trees and those colorful flowers. Then I created Moon as a light source and played with the environment settings a bit. Next I animated the camera to flow through the scene like so. Then I rendered this animation as a teeth sequence. As I was originally creating this shot for a completely different video, I rendered it out in 4K, but for the purpose of neural style processing I scaled the images down to 720p. And this is how it looks rendered. Obviously there is a lot wrong with this scene. The lighting is really bad, the textures are popping out awkwardly and there is no depth of field. But for neural style it will only be a wireframe for painting a completely new image from noise. Let's take a look at our style image. This is the image that the neural network will analyze and deep learn. For this tutorial we will use something I think most people will instantly recognize. This is this beautiful starry night painting by Dutch post-impressionist artist Vincent van Gogh. The image resolution is roughly 2K. Now we are all set to push it all through the network. In this video I won't go through the process of installing Torch and Neural Style as everything is explained in detail in help files you can find in GitHub repositories. So let's jump into the terminal. Right here I am running Ubuntu 14 and I have NVIDIA GTX 770 on board. I also have the lastest NVIDIA CUDNN library installed. Now we are ready to initialize deep style processing. So I will open my loop by counting down frames. As I don't need to render all frames from the sequence, I will start at frame 30 and finish at frame 325. Then I will instantiate Torch with neural style code. Next I will define path to my style image, define sequence of my original images, define my destination, tell Torch which GPU to use for rendering, define my output image size. Please remember that this requires a lot of memory. From my experience it took 58GB of RAM to render 2K output in CPU mode. I have only 2GB of video memory on this card so I'll go with 626 pixels. Then I'll define how much style will affect the image. You have to experiment with this value. Additionally I randomized this value a bit to mitigate a problem with damaged frames. It was a problem that I described on GitHub in detail. You can find the link to the issue in the video description below. Then I tell Neural Style to use CUDNN library as my backend. Set my seed to 100 for the whole sequence and make it 400 iterations per image. A good idea is to do a test render with a number of 1000 iterations and save intermediate renders every 50 iterations. Then you can decide how many iterations you really need. Usually it would be between 400 and 600 to get acceptable results. Then I set how much original content will affect the final image. I tell it to start with a noise pattern and to normalize gradients. And let it render, it will take a while. On GTX 770 with more than 1500 CUDA cores, one frame takes about 3 minutes to render. And when it's done we can see our rendered frames. Now I'll jump into After Effects. Of course you can use software of your choice, like Virtual Dub, Adobe Premiere, Final Cut, whatever works for you. I will import my image sequence. My stylistic choice is to interpret the sequence as 12 FPS. Now I will create a new composition with a size of my image sequence and of course make it 12 FPS.
I will drop image sequence onto the timeline and trim my comp to the working area. Now I will create another composition with a size of 1280 and make it 24 fps. I'll drop my original comp here. Uh, one more thing in that original comp is to enable frame blending. Enable frame mix and enable frame blending for the whole composition. Now we have to scale everything up to fit 720p comp. I'll scale it up a bit more to get rid of the problems on the edges. Now you can do really whatever you fancy. For this video I will only use a bit of curves. And I will add a vector blur. I will set it to perpendicular with amount of 2 or 3. Now it's ready to render. And after it's done, here's our final shot. Well, it's really that easy. Of course you can use whatever source you like. Whether it's animation, time-lapse photography or regular video, it can still work. Now go and make something amazing. And if you like this video, subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you very much for watching, Weather Anomaly fading out.